guys. Joe Samantha here. How do you like that base station? Another big win for your page today. Two to section. Absolutely showed out. Go green and gold. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Onward to Victory preview. I am Joe Szymanski, uh previewing this week and the rematch between George Mason versus Rhode Island. This one at home. We're back at home after two games away. We're back at home for the first time to, in a week and a half since we beat UMass on February 1st. But right now we're back here against Rhode Island at home today versus against the Rams. Again, looking for... The sweep. Can Mason this time pull up a sweep? Last time uh, this was attempted was against Loyola. It did not go so hot. This time the hope is it's a lot better. Uh, you know, we, we know about Rhode Island. They're not a very good team. This is a pretty bad Rhode Island team. Uh, Ishmael Ishlaget and uh, Brian Freeman are two pretty good guards. They, but uh, I think kind of two crucial things here. Number one, neither, not, they don't really have anyone who can shoot threes. And number two, uh, their front court duo of Abdu Sam and or Alex Chiku, uh, neither are particularly very good. Uh, their their main center was supposed to be Joseph Abdu, uh, the guy from France, six ten sophomore, uh, has has really uh, struggled. Uh, he transferred from Wichita. Now I had to sit out of here, but he he's really struck. He 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 got hurt. Not struggled. He was looking good, but he got hurt uh, early in the year. Uh, and has not played since December. Uh, team not play, he's out for the year. So we know about Rhode Island. Uh, but I've heard from you guys. Uh, I do want to hear from you guys in the comments. Who do you think is going to win? I am predicting, hopefully, praying to Jesus, praying to the good Lord above. I am praying to the good Lord above here to thank him. We will all pray. Dear Lord, please, please bless the great George Mason University with a victory today against Rhode Island. But I do think Mason pulls this one out. We're at home. True, I mean, truly, uh, Rhode Island's front court is te- like it, it, Chiku and Lamb are just they have not looked good at any point this year. It's, it, Rhode Island, thanks to Leggett and and uh and Freeman, have been able to pull up a game or two here. It's just not a good team, they should not be beating us in our own building. Mason 72, Rhodey 62. Uh, I, th- this should be a game that Mason pulls at relatively, but I've heard for you guys, you guys want to hear a little bit about me. And I guess that's fair. I'm kind of just this random guy who's shown up on this channel suddenly for the past two weeks. So yeah, you know, my name, I'm Joe Szymanski. I am currently a student at George Mason university. I'm in my senior year, my senior second semester year, which this is my final semester being a student for now at the university. Um, uh, I'm graduating in May. May 2023 is my graduation. So May 19th, I will walk across uh, the stage. They will set up at Eagle Bank Arena. And I will be a graduated college student. Kind of crazy to think about. Uh, but a little bit more about me. Uh, I'm 21. I'm just a kid from a small town in Pennsylvania, northwest Lancaster County. Called a little town. Actually, technically just outside an outside township, but a little town area. And, you know, I've been a sports fan my whole life, but none of that was really basketball. You know, I played hockey growing up. Uh, I played hockey for 12 years, the great sport of ice hockey. I'm actually a huge Washington Capitals fan because I grew up going to uh, Hershey Bears games because the Hershey town Hershey is only about 20 minutes from my house. And me and my family, along with my grandparents, had season tickets to the Bears growing up. So I saw a lot of Bears players, especially when the Caps were still kind of building up the franchise that they've had for the past decade and a bit. Uh, a lot of those players I saw come in the Bears first, and I've been a Caps fan ever since. I love the sport of hockey. I love talking about the sport of hockey. Uh, it's what I wanted to do for the longest time until I, I'm in the career path I am now. I was that I wanted to be a sports broadcaster. I'm not on that career path right now, but I loved all sports. Huge football guy. Became a huge soccer guy. Uh, love the sports, all of them. And when I was a freshman here at George Mason, my 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 RA Sean Diamond at the time, uh, he he wanted to make sure that we all would go to certain events, and one of those things was basketball games. And one of the first games, I, it was actually not the Gold Rush. I forget why I didn't go to the Gold Rush game, uh, my freshman year. I totally forget why. 
but I think it was against uh, James Madison, 70s night, that year, the 2019-20 year in non-conference. I went to the 70s night game, had an absolute blast, and I've I've been in love with George Mason basketball. I'm going to move my camera down a little bit here. It looks a little bit, there we go. It's better. Uh, but I, I fell in love, and I did. I, I went to every game I could as a freshman. Uh, quite literally, I would drag my one of my buddies along with me, and we would go. And, uh, yeah, I would have a blast. And, obviously, I missed being able to do that my sophomore year when basically no one was allowed in because of the COVIDs. Uh, but my junior year, I started being able to go back to games. I actually missed the, the really fun early stretch of the English era uh, due to a uh, stomach disease I had fallen under after some uh, very long months of work and probably stress on my body. I was brought on by the election that year. I do work in politics. That's what I do. Uh, so I major, I'm a government major. Uh, but that's what I do in my day-to-day -day life. And, uh, yeah, I was so I missed the fun, really fun part of those. Sorry, the English era there. But I started going to games, and I saw on Twitter that Giant Killer was looking for another student contributor. And I was thinking, you know what? I, I can write. That's what I do in my spare time with politics. I write articles. I talk about things. Why can't I do that for, for basketball? And it, it's, it's an experience that I've gotten to love uh, ever since. And, and it's true, and I've gotten to love it. And I love being able to do this and the talk, Mason basketball. I, it's been my biggest connection to the school. It's the reason I'm going to come back. Uh, I, I plan after graduation, I plan on moving back home to Pennsylvania and working up in state government up there. But home home's only two and a half hours away. You know, trust me, when the schedule's released, there will be weekend games, and there will be weekend games that I – make time for myself to come down to and uh, watch a little management basketball because we even cover it. Trust me. I, if I could, if Brian and Chris let me, I will come down some weekends next year and I'd cover Mason basketball because I love it. I do. I truly love what I get to do. And I love what I'm able to do here at Mason and, and for this team. And it's been just the absolute most joyous experience. And no matter what happens, trust me, folks, this is continuing after this year. Because I can watch Mason basketball and I can sit here and talk to you guys uh, anytime I want, anywhere I want in the world. And it's been such a joy and I'm glad that you guys are here with me. If you guys have any other questions for me, uh, I'll answer them in the uh, Rhode Island Review podcast uh, down below. But I do want to thank to all the new subscribers and people who have been following and liking the videos. Uh, we really appreciate that for sure. And... You know, I hope you guys can come along, can you enjoy the ride here as uh, we keep going here at the Onward to Victory podcast. This is not something that's to be a one-off thing. I, I plan on doing this as a hobby for a while here because I enjoy it and it's something that's different in my life. And I get to enjoy talking about my school, my team, and my another one of my passions uh, with all you guys. I'm very blessed to be able to share that with all you guys. So thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys here uh either Saturday night or Sunday for the recap podcast. It depends on when I get motivated or not. Probably Saturday night. It's another Sunday. A lot of you guys will be focused on the big game. I'll have my Super Bowl prediction uh, in that review podcast on Saturday night. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you back here. And thank you all.